and I'm going to teach you my great-great-grandmother's recipe for peanut butter balls. Here's what you make. One pound of powdered sugar, one, one pound of peanut butter, one stick of butter, and one bag of chocolate chips. We like to melt the butter in a small saucepan because we find it always splatters in the microwave. Place the whole peanut butter, all the peanut butter in this jar into here. And we only add a small amount of powdered sugar at a time because if you add it all, you will have an explosion of powdered sugar in your entire kitchen. We know. Put it on low and let it combine. Right, Shelby? Yeah. And Shelby is just adding, again, a little bit at a time to fully incorporate until we've used all of the powdered sugar and all of the butter. As you see, it's a little bit more crumbly and a lightish color. Now what we're gonna take is a tablespoon of the dough mixture and roll it into balls, placing it on a cookie sheet lined with wax paper. And you're gonna freeze that for about 45 minutes. So you don't want any um, cracks in them because that's good, not going to make them good, look good. You want them like no cracks in them because then it's going to look like a brain. Really smooth. You want it really smooth you like there's no cracks. See this one? It has no cracks. In it. Okay, now these are going into the freezer for 45 minutes. Yeah. So we continue. So this is called a double boiler, so a pot with water in it and a pan sitting over it, and Shelby's gonna dump the chocolate into the pot. And that's how we're gonna melt our chocolate. Okay, now we're gonna take our frozen peanut butter balls, place them in the melted chocolate, and cover them with chocolate and then place them back onto the tray and again, freeze them. And once they've frozen for about 30 to 45 minutes again, you can place them into a plastic bag inside your freezer and have yummy goodness to eat whenever you want.